Hey guys, this is Burgundy from the PSTV studios and I'm here today to do a live reaction to the trailer that just came out today for Marvel's 1943 Rise of Hydra. Uh, this was apparently part of the keynote speech for State of Unreal because it's being developed on the latest version of Unreal Engine 5. Uh, it's also very exciting because it's being uh, directed by Amy Hennig who uh, probably most famously was the cr original creator of uh, Uncharted and was a prominent uh, writer and director for the first uh, three Uncharted games. Uh, anyways, uh, just to give a little background on me, I am a teacher at the School District of Philadelphia. We're working on learning how to teach this sort of content creation to kids. Uh, so I'm both ex honestly excited to be watching this trailer and I'm also doing this as an example of the kind of work that students can do in our new content creation studio. So uh, enough of my big head and me talking. Let's go ahead and get into the trailer for 1943, The Rise of Hydra. They're, they're combing the streets. I'm searching house to house. If they arrest you too, they will take you to their headquarters, and you will not return. I'm more concerned with a six-foot cat man who's got claws that can cut through vibranium alloy. By my count, that makes two super soldiers loose in Paris. Three. Counting you. And that's two too many. When they first announced this, there was an untitled Captain American the Black Panther project. There was really I'll no be there before the sun rises. Before uh, the Germans, before that America. On that. Now we see the where eye of force has been that found. Us. Please, just stick to the rooftops. Be careful. Stand by me. When am I not? Black Panther, some sort of vintage uh, Assassin's Creed style gameplay, which is better if I tackle this one alone. Character. You may encounter some obstacles. That won't be a problem. <laughs> Our cat friend is definitely here, too. By the look of things, he's not very far ahead. The American boy is right on your heels. Who the hell are you? If you wanted us dead, we'd be dead. So what do you want? Answers. That's far enough! Stay out of my way! Stand aside! I do not take orders from anyone! I don't have time for this. Neither do I. So let me wind that back to the beginning uh, and I'll play through this again a little bit quieter and maybe talk about a couple things just that I noticed uh, from this first run through. Um, obviously this looks amazing. Um, the character models, first of all, look way better um, than the Crystal Dynamics uh, Avengers game, which I don't want to pile on that game too much because everyone has already said everything that they need to say about the Avengers game. It's been... Uh, if it's not sunset now, it's going to be soon. Uh, I played that game at launch, and it was, you know, just as not great as most people thought it was. You know, if you enjoyed it, cool. I actually thought some of uh, Miss Marvel's story and the campaign was pretty cool. None of the end game stuff particularly appealed to me. Did not love any of that. Um, but let's sort of go through this again and just sort of talk about, you know, some things that that I noticed straight off the bat. Um, I mean, number one, I still think we haven't seen a ton of games come out um, that are really fully utilizing Unreal Engine 5, but this game looks absolutely unbelievable. Uh, just the textures and the models and everything look really, really beautiful. You know, again, this Captain America looks so much better than, you know, the Avengers game from just a couple years ago. Uh, you know, 
Sky Dances, the name of the new uh, Amy Hennig company that she founded after she left uh, Naughty Dog. Um, I appreciate that they seem to be making sort of like an older Black Panther. I wonder um, if any of his character's design was sort of changed after, um, you know, after the passing of the actor who played him in the MCU. And um, boy, is it embarrassing that his name is completely flown out of my brain right now. Um, but rest in peace to him. And it cool, looks like it's. It looks like they're just you know sort of doing a, a very unique take on the character. Like I said when I was watching this live. Um, it does look like a lot of the sort of gameplay they're giving him is going to sort of be in that sort of stealthy Assassin's Creed sort of vein, which makes a lot of sense for the Black Panther character. Um, you know, Captain America is probably going to be a lot more of like a straightforward melee fighter. So um, it's cool assuming that, you know, obviously they're both going to be playable and it seems like they're going to have them sort of in conflict at the beginning. I'm sure that this is sort of all the earlier parts of the story. Um, and it should be, you know, it should be cool from a gameplay perspective to sort of get it, be able to do, you know, stealthier, stealthier things and sort of probably more kind of like mixed martial arts kind of gameplay um, as, as Black Panther and then probably just sort of more kind of, you know, I don't know how brutal this is actually, you know, I don't know how close to M-rated they'll actually get with this, but sort of more straightforward kind of hand-to-hand -hand fighting. Um, when you get for the sections you get to play as Captain America, uh, and then I absolutely love um, Amy Hennig's um, contributions to Uncharted and everything that she did for Naughty Dog. So, uh, that you know, there's no doubt in my mind that um, you know she's a great choice to to do a really narrative-heavy story like this, uh, and that she and her team are you know going to have all the tools at their disposal from Marvel. I mean, you can see what that game looks like. They certainly have the budget um, to do what they want to do with that game um, and her, you know, sort of like the building of Nathan, Dr you know, Nathan Drake has a lot in common, I think, with a lot of these classic Marvel characters, just as far as like the charm um, and the heroism. So I think that she is an absolutely great fit um, to be taking on a project like this and everything looks beautiful. And, you know, 2025 is not all that far away. So uh, we will find out soon enough how that all worked out. Uh, but anyways, thanks for checking this out. And um, as always, I've been Burgundy, and you've been better. Take care.